Hello, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm excited to talk to you today about self-awareness and how having more self-awareness and awareness about your own inner life and connection with your inner life affects the life that you see around you, affects that the life that you're living and um, all of your experiences really. So before I jump in, if you like this video, please like, subscribe and share and yes, keep in touch with me, put any comments in the uh, comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and how this helps you. So first of all, I want to talk about my experience with this subject. And I can say that it really is based on experience of after a time of deep uh, meditation and contemplation for several years and um, deeply felt inner experiences of energy that I have shared, that I have been holding in myself and that I have experienced in the world around me, um, you know, both through events and through the people that I'm spending my time with and um, the events and people that are coming towards me. And this can sometimes be moment to moment or it can be, there can be a general theme um, of experiences that you're having in your life. So if you are able to First of all, notice if there is a general theme uh, or subject that keeps repeating in your life, in your story. For example, it might be something um, in relationships or it might be something to do with money. And these two uh, are things that we you know, really quite aware of and most conscious of in our lives because they seem to be, um, you know, some of the more, most important things um, that affect our inner well-being that we perceive to uh, give us inner well-being, and 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 rightly so because they do. So uh, you might notice, for example, a theme where you feel like you're not understood or a theme that recurs such as let's say the people in your life aren't showing up for you the way that you would like them to be so they're just not they're not listening to you or they're not responding to you in the way that you would like or they're uh, perhaps um, not giving you yeah the responses that you want or that meet what it is that you're putting out into the world so if you take this idea and notice that this has come up um, you know not just in one relationship but you know maybe in a sequence of relationships or um, maybe it's been a theme that affected all of your um, close intimate personal love relationships or um, all of your relationships in which you're kind of contacting with the women in your life or the men in your life you know if you can sit down and take the time to reflect on the most important relationships that you have and have had you can find um, if you go back through them that somewhere there will be these themes it's great to look at what happened and and try and dig a bit deeper like it you know to find really what the core theme was and let's just say that uh, the theme that presents is that someone wasn't listening to you uh, you talk you talk to them and you feel like you express yourself to them however they don't respond in a way that is indicative that they heard you or that they were listening really to what you said 
So I, I have dealt with this one myself and if I sit and think about this and have, I have and found it in my past relationships, the way that we can resolve this and we can move forward into a different place from this is never actually by trying to fix it in the other person. It's never actually by trying to change them or by, you know, even like swiping on them and finding a new person. It's not about the other person. It's about the inner self. So I'm just going to give you an example here of, of what a possibility of this might be. And, you know, like what it has been for me is why I can give you this example. This is based on my history and my experience which has informed me that you know there are times when I get caught up I'm busy I'm rushing you know particularly more so in the past and my body will be giving me messages you know my body will be telling me I'm tired you know my feet are tired or or um, you know, oh, you know, I better have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. My my mind can't do this. My mind, you know, um, needs to rest. Or those are a couple of examples. And yet, even though those messages are, are what's coming to me, I don't, you know, for example, in those cases, in those instances, I didn't sit down and put my feet up. I didn't rest and take a break. I didn't. Um, yeah, essentially listen to the needs and the communication that was coming to me. And so, similarly, the outside world then is presenting to me examples of this behavior. It's like, well, you know, this is what happens when it's not being listened to and this is how it feels um, to not be responded to. Um, and, you know, essentially, without the inner balance and the inner harmony that we need in our life, we can't achieve the outer harmony that we would like in our life. And, yeah, I really hope that you, you can relate to this and you can find find some help in this and um, I'm really passionate about this actually I'm really passionate about this self-awareness because um, I think I think we're looking for more harmony in the world right now and the more we can bring inside of ourselves the more we can find in the outside world and the more of us that are doing that I think the greater place that we're gonna live in so from my heart to yours thank you for watching thank you for being here and it's really a pleasure for me to share this with you i hope that uh, it benefits you and that we will meet again soon thanks bye for now